Spoilers for gameplay, but not story, so if you want to experience things for yourself, do not watch this. Otherwise, let's start. Again, no story spoilers, so you should be okay. Number one, build your stats. Simply, the higher your trait levels, the more points you can get during the match 3 game. Whether you succeed or fail dates, these will improve your score potential in the match 3. You earn experience for your traits through gifting experience gifts to girls. So there are date gifts, there are food gifts, some of them allow you to get experience, but they're just experience gifts for certain girls that showed in the description. You can figure out the rest, or use a guide to know for sure who to give certain items to. 2. Baggage, seed, or information questions. Regardless of the question, the talk action gives plus one move during the date. Baggage questions are asked by the character, and a correct quote-unquote answer will give you baggage. Getting baggage gives you extra slots to equip gift items. Yes, the effects may hurt you sometimes, but getting them is generally beneficial. Seed questions are similar to baggage questions, but instead of getting baggage from the character, a light answer will give you seeds instead to use for the shop. Information questions are asked by the main character, and will net you information on the character for that playthrough, unless you know which to say already. Gameplay-wise, asking a question both girls share an answer for earns you seeds from both of them. Which answers are correct and which aren't is player knowledge. You'll learn. Or again, use a guide. 3. Look for power tokens by matching 4 or 5. 5 token matches are rare without planning, but have a higher chance to give a power token on match. Or guarantees a power token depending on your style level. Again, why stats are important. Early game before clearing the game, you'll know what that means, no spoilers, form token matches with a power token will shoot your early or mid-game date success rate pretty much to 99%, barring big mistakes. So yeah, try to look for setups when they appear, or hope RNG is nice if you're not willing to think it out that hard. 4. Close match board control, or at least that's what I call it. I would also advise not to remember patterns, but there is one simple pattern to remember, a close match. Essentially, a diagonal token that would match when moved, can help you manipulate any token in the direction that token moves. So instead of moving the matching token, you would move whatever other token you want that doesn't match it to move past the matching token where you want it to go. This, in turn, gives you more options, which can result in better setups. So if you need a 4 or 5 match, there you go. Stamina Management, which is new in H2 Double Ds. But Jordan, if I do 3 matches all the time in Switch, I won't run out of stamina. Trust me, you'll be looking for 4 matches or 5 matches soon enough. If you're on normal difficulty or higher, easy difficulty should be... easy? But since 2 pair 3 matches or 4 token matches decrease stamina by 2 and 5 token matches decrease stamina by 3, you will generally have a net loss on your stamina per turn. So yeah, stamina management. Note, matches caused by a player move will not remove stamina, so if you do a 3 match that drops tokens into a 5 match, for example, you don't spend 3 more stamina for the 5 match, only 1 stamina for the 3 match. Bonus tips! 6. Purposely exhausting your date through stamina loss or angering a date with broken hearts. The cons, you should have a plan to manage your stamina beforehand, because, well, getting both girls out of action is a failed date. The positives, you can make strategic plays such as clearing broken hearts or unwanted tokens, saving stamina for consecutive matches, and so on. You can come up with ideas, but... Exhausting or angering a date also bypasses the effect of some baggage effects, giving another avenue to deal with them. In the end, it's a numbers game in which you need to decide if it's better to put a character out of commission. I'm just saying, it's an option. 7. Lastly, failing a date is okay. If you don't mind the extra grind, failing a date is okay. You don't lose anything, and you'll still earn currency or the token seeds to buy items if you made some matches. This will allow you to power through if your match 3 ability isn't at the level it should be, compensating with higher stats over time that you get by giving items to the characters. Therefore, linking back to tip 1, you will power through the game after improving your stats. So buy Honeypop 2 Double Date if you're watching this video and you're interested in the game. Links to some outlets are in the description below. If you're interested in the lunacy I'm involved in on my channel, please subscribe, turn on notifications, or watch my videos since I should be making more content in the future because I have plans. Comments, questions, criticisms, and so ons, put it in the comment section below and I should address it in due time. So that's that. JRDanMML, out.